Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, uh, doing a walk and talk in my own garden, it's a little bit windy, so I don't want to go to the beach, because you won't hear anything of the sound today, doing a cool video, I think about some items I read in the news, also about, about the Bitcoin price, but something really shocking as well, like, let's talk about it. Let's first jump into the Bitcoin price. The Bitcoin price at the moment is at 27,700. If we break that level of support, we will fall to 27,400, where is the next support that we fell to the last couple of candles on the four hour chart. After that, we could even fall all the way to 25,500 US dollar, where is the next huge level of support. But again, if we look to the left on the chart, we can see that the last couple of four hour candles, we still go up and down, up and down, and we want to break that 30K. That is what the charts show. But we don't know what is happening at the market at the moment. There's a lot of turmoil everywhere in the stock market, and everything. So if those could drop yes of course bitcoin could drop again but as long as we stay above 25,000 US dollar per bitcoin i'm a very happy man here in thailand if we zoom out and we look at the weekly guys we can see in the weekly that it's like an indecisive candle and um, it was a greenish candle and at the moment the candle that we opened yesterday is now red of course because we're lower than we opened but again this candle can take another like six days to close so let's see if there will be a bearish candle if there will be a bearish candle then we just created a higher high at that dotted line and from that higher high we are going to create a higher low and at higher low as long as we say about 25k is a really beautiful higher low and then we are building some really beautiful structure to go into the halving and into the next bull market again don't freak out but zoom out because it's going to take another one and a half to two years i think august september 2025 then we will see the bull market top so you have a lot of time to accumulate bitcoin dollar cost average and buy every dip yes you can buy them very cheap you know of the united states because they are selling all their bitcoins that is the most retarded step that i have ever seen a government do in my entire life so just imagine the united states is selling the Bitcoin that they confiscated from Silk Road. So that's about like 50,000 Bitcoins. And they are selling them to get back US dollars. Their US dollar isn't worth shit anymore. They can easily print US dollars out of thin air. And still the United States is willing to sell their Bitcoins for US dollars. How fucking retarded can you be in the United States? You can easily hold all your bitcoins and just print a shitload of money so you don't need to sell your bitcoins. Why would you be selling the bitcoins United States? There is other countries in the world, the BRICS countries, that are incentivizing their power plants, for example, to mine bitcoin. There's countries adopting the bitcoin standard. There's a whole new hashing war already going on for multiple years because most countries understand the power of bitcoin. And then you have the United States selling their bitcoins for US dollars that they can pre out of thin air for free. I think that the people that are now steering the United States are all too old, almost dead, and steering the United States into nothing, into ban, into hell. It will be one of the worst countries in the world if they continue like this. Not only that, but now they also want to restrict the freedom of people. The freedom to use TikTok. And not only TikTok, because the bill that they want to get through is, re is giving them the power to judge if any technology app is a threat to national security. So they are able, when there is a beautiful app or debt in the crypto scene, that they think that it's a threat to national security, like TikTok or Twitter or Bitcoin, which is a technology, to then prohibit people of using it and if they use it even punish people with imprisonments or fines up to 20k and two year imprisonment or I said or was it like 20 year imprisonment I don't know anymore what I need to believe in the news of the United States but guys if you're living there what the fuck are you doing go to a country that is not limiting you in the possibilities to use the new technologies in this world because we all know that new technologies drive our future into a better future. It's not making it worse, it's making it better. Bitcoin has evolved to become one of the most greenest monetary policies out there ever existed. I don't know what the US is doing, they are fucking retarded. Look, they're here in Thailand for example, they live in a Bitcoin farm. They are using only green energy from the farm, from the sun, to mine Bitcoins. At the same time, the Netherlands is also retarded. They 
are getting rid of all their farmers. Well, they could use all those farmers to mine Bitcoin as well. It's so stupid what we can see happening in those few Western countries that are all sucking up their asses because they just want to be friends. That's what you see from the Netherlands. We want to like America. America needs to like us. And they are now destroying the future of their own citizens because they don't have the ability to think. They are too old. They are with one leg in their grave. Why can these people still rule a country? It's unbelievable. In my opinion, unbelievable. But by now, the US is killing its own dollar. People are losing a lot of their buying power because of the huge inflation that is in the US. And then at the same time, they prohibit the US people from buying store of value assets like Bitcoin because now they're also closing down on Bittrex and many other exchanges that provide a solution for people to exchange dollars into Bitcoin. So Bittrex is one of the exchanges I used for years. And now the US people can't buy Bitcoin there anymore. So no Coinbase, no Bittrex, no Binance, all being destroyed. But at the same time, they are allowing their own NASDAQ to OTC Bitcoins to the rich people, of course, that have access to NASDAQ. So yes, do you see what is happening? They want you poor people to become even more poor and they want their rich friends to become even more rich because then they can fund their next uh, presidential campaign again. That's how it works. But please be aware of this. Please be aware. Please make sure that between now and when that all happens, you are buying your Bitcoins. Exchange your US dollar into Bitcoins and that's how you preserve your capital. And that's the strangest thing, man. It's like, it's like Iran. Iran is incentivizing their power plants to mine Bitcoin. Many other countries are adopting Bitcoin. In Norway, they are using the streaming waterfalls and water power to mine Bitcoin. Every country tries to mine as much as possible Bitcoin because they know it's a digital gold of the 21st century. Only the United States is now prohibiting their own people to do that and only the rich people in America will be allowed to do it, of course. I just want you guys to understand the bigger picture because it's not about all the stuff that you read in the media. It's about enriching themselves and making you poor, poorer. And that's what they've been doing all the time. They do everything just to fill their own fucking pockets while they empty your pockets by inflation, uh, more tax, less interest that you get on your savings account, more interest that you need to pay on your mortgage, etc., etc., etc. It's just very easy. And the most crazy part is that it's out there. It's like they don't even hide it. It's out there, everywhere, online, in the media, in the newspapers. They are just showing what they are doing. And the sheeple are still saying, meh, meh, we will follow. I really don't get it. When are the people in the United States doing the same things that was happening in France? Going onto the streets, making riots, because you don't want the government to create a digital prison of their country where you need to be stuck in till you do what they say. A digital prison. You don't want to be part of that. So why don't I see you massive riots in the United States of people that really go against this new bill and everything? Is it that really people don't give a fuck or don't understand or are too busy with whatever, whatever could be more important than your own freedom? I just don't understand what is happening. Please let me know. Comment down below if you're not if you're living in the United States and you know what is happening because I really don't know. So for me, guys, one simple solution: Bitcoin, decentralized monetary policy that is there for everyone to use, that is completely decentralized, cannot be used by the governments to manipulate all the people because the people are in control. But that's my opinion. If you want to buy Bitcoin, in my opinion, at the moment, Bybit is the best exchange, best exchange out there to buy your Bitcoins. Um, if you use the link down below, you can claim up to 30,000 US dollar in bonus and uh, much more other bonuses. If you just click the link, you will go to my personal landing page and you will see all the extras that you will receive for just signing up and then also for buying your Bitcoins, guys. Um, for the rest, I think that was everything for today. I have a very busy day. It is uh, our last week in Phuket before we go back to Europe for a couple of months. And um, so I hope you really enjoyed all this information. If you did all enjoy all the information, give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment
What do you think that is happening in the world now, in the Western societies like the United States and Europe? Why are they breaking down on the freedom of people this harshly? Why are they destroying their own currencies? Do you also believe that the BRICS countries are going to take over, that the US dollar will lose its position as world reserve currency, and it probably will be taken by the yuan, hopefully by Bitcoin in a couple of years, or maybe now directly, because that would be the best option for everyone out there. Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you for watching. Uh, I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again. Damn.